Hello everyone, my name is Adar and welcome back to Fallout 1. So I need to find out who I need to wiretap or plant the bug. So I'm hoping it's in... Do I have it like a... Ah, uh, uh, what is it? Journal or something. Oh, okay, here we go. 111 days left, I didn't notice that. Archives... No... Status... No. Maybe I have to talk to him again. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? Okay, it's Gizmo. Okay, I just gotta find Gizmo, and he's in the town somewhere. Uh, well, that's a he... damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. So let's see what he has for sale. That way I maybe get a good idea of what I can get for free. So he has that. Not much for sale. <laughs> but that looks nice. What is that? Desert Eagle. He'll give me the Desert Eagle and that? Yeah. Um... I mean, that's not all that he has. So let's go find Gizmo. So where would Gizmo be? Crash House Hotel? Maybe he's in the hotel. But, anyway, let's, uh... <laughs> Hi, guy. Uh, I'm just gonna look through your bookshelf for free stuff. <laughs> you have no idea. Okay. So let's go looking in the hotel, but first, we're going to save, just in case I screw up something. Like I said, I'm very descriptive on my game saves. Why do I have a feeling this is not a hotel of regular type unless they're staying the night there huh a tough looking woman welcome to the crash house how can I help you stranger I'm looking for water night's sleep looking for some info just a hotel manager bub don't ask too much of me fifty dollars would it now I'm not giving out money for info. I wonder, can I open the door? I can. Let me go look at this bookshelf. Nothing in a bookshelf. What about the refrigerator? But would that be stealing? Can't really tell if it's since it's not red but I did I did save so let's see if it does it so far nothing Okay, so yeah, free food. And the waitress. A pouty, shapely woman. Let's see what the waitress... Okay, you're not sleeping, standing up. Uh, 
Hey, darling. How you doing? Uh, just fine. I could be better. Maybe I can, uh, okay. Maybe I can help you with that. Maybe you can't. How much do you charge? If you got to ask, it's more than you can afford. Really? Yeah, no. You know what? I'm going in here and I'm going to raid this bookshelf. Nothing in the bookshelf. What about this one? Nothing. A gang member? Sounds like I'm in the right place for Gizmo. Hey, Ian, do you have a twin brother? It kind of looks like... <laughs> kind of looks like Ian. Gang member, gang member. The Skulls Gang. So, hmm. who are you and what are you doing here? <laughs> None of your business. No, I'm new to town. Apparently so, since everyone knows this is the territory of the Skulls. You better beat it before someone decides to hurt you. Uh, skulls, who are they? That's us. Meanest gang in town. Actually, we're the only gang. But nobody messes with us. So you pretty much have the run of town? You bet. Nobody messes with us except Killian. But he's cool and all. Um, why do you hang out with the guys? We're like family. Take care of each other. Well, except for Shark, who's always breaking things, and Victor, who look, looks at people funny, and Vinny, who's cool. Uh, but we do stuff together, you know, we're like friends and stuff. But who's all in the gang? Victor, Shark, who hangs out in the scum pit, Vinny too, and a couple of, couple of guys got stopped by from time to time. Well, I didn't say Gizmo in there, though. Oh, the scum pit is a sleazy bar north of here, near Gizmo's Casino. Okay, so it's north of here. See ya. Bye. Thanks for the info. <laughs> Free info. Gotta love it. So... Yes, not in there. Let's get out of here. Go north of here. I gotta go way over here. My character's not going to run that far? Well, I'm running it on the high resolution uh, patch, I think 1.2. So originally, let's say this was the original game, you would see maybe from, from the edge of the screen, from over here, to maybe right here. So you wouldn't see much. Gizmos. Well, we know we're in the right place. So all I gotta do is wear the wire. But do I have to put it on my armor or do I put it in my inventory? You see a tape recorder. You see a bug. A what's a look Electronics play it for me. Tape recorder plays and records the standard 30-minute high-density recorded once tapes 
weighs five pounds. So you do put it in your inventory or your. See. Okay, I have to click it and then talk to him and get him to confess. I can do this. But first I'm going to save. If I was Gizmo, I would be in the very back. Yep, there's Gizmo. Now how am I going to get him to talk to me? I'm glad I'm not going the sneaking way. So let's see what. Let's see if I can just open the door. Okay. Let's see if I can open the next door to him. Really? Thought it'd be a lot harder. Okay, so. That does nothing. That does nothing. Okay. Hopefully it auto uses or something. What do you want? I'm a busy man. Now let's see. I have to get him to confess about what I don't remember. Okay, I don't want to provoke him. I don't want to, like, come out right and say it. Let's talk about the attempt on Killian's life. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you don't remember? No. I'm not going to say that. No, I'm not going to exit. I'm not going to say you're a liar. I'm not going to confront him. I'll just say it's a hypothetical situation. So, Jazz. Well, let's say you did try to kill Killian, and your assassin failed. That means you would need a new one to do the job right. And let me guess, you're that someone. Very good. <laughs> For a price. Well, how can I trust you? Um... <laughs> uh... Yeah, not that one. Not that one. I'm here. You need someone from out of town to do your dirty work, right? <laughs> All right. We can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me. Hmm. I could put one over you, just no way anyone could put one around you. <laughs> that means he's fat. Uh, of course, but first, let's see. But first, I need to know why you want him dead. Got it. What do you want him dead for? I think this would be the better answer. That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So. <laughs> Could you say that again? This time in my coat pocket? N no, that's... That would say, yeah, here, I got the bug right here. Yeah. Maybe that's the bug I'm supposed to use. Uh, oh, well. Uh, yep, that's why I'm here. He'll be dead before sundown. Sure, it's a job. Let's go with this one. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck. It's proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention it to anyone. No one double crosses me. Sure, no yeah. One. I won't double cross you. Uh, 
Now why are you moving all of a sudden? Okay, please let it record it. If not, I'll have to reload the save and figure out how to start this thing. Run faster. Go talk to him. So, did you get the evidence? I uh, sure did. Which bug or tape? The confession. That's here. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Oh, so he does have more. Shotgun and shells. A suit of leather armor. A doctor's med kit. All the stem packs. Or I could go the good route and say nothing. I want to do this, but a shotgun sounds better. But is a shotgun considered a big gun? Now, big guns have to be like explosives. Or is explosives explosives? Either way, a shotgun and shells sound better. Oh, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Good for a laugh. We're going to go up there and kill him and everybody up there, or, you know, run them out of town. Possible loot on dead bodies. Yeah, I'm in. I'm sure it'd be worth just to see him try to walk ten more feet, or walk more than ten feet. Go to Lars guard station, station. he'll fill you in. And listen... This town owes you a lot. <laughs> okay. One thing I forgot to do was check the dead guy right here. He has, ooh, what does he have? A hunting rifle. Wait, uh, you cannot pick that. Your maximum. No! Okay, we're gonna uh, talk. What can I, do for you? Uh, I wanna buy something. I want to sell something. Or maybe... Maybe it's barter, I don't know. Yeah, let's see, what was it? Yeah, this just goes straight in there. Okay, I have this suit of armor, this leather armor. $300, okay. So I guess they deal with regular money than bottle caps. Let's see, what is this? You see bottle caps. Maybe it just says $300 and it means bottle caps. Okay, how much does he have? He has 2,000. So what can I get rid of? That is weighing me down a lot. I know these weigh like half a pound, two pounds each. But water is water. I don't need two knives. These books are permanent. I should use them. I don't know if they're permanent or not. Do I need a crowbar? It's probably just a weapon. But it was down there, so maybe. And I got food. So let's... Let's, uh, 
Let's see what my inventory is now. Oh, okay. I can go over about what he said. Okay, that's... I'm trying to get out of here. There we go. So let's see. Wait, it was inventory. I have 98 and I can weigh 110. So yeah, something. Please tell me. That. These do weigh. But is it one pound total? Has to be. It weighs two pounds. Two pounds per flask or two pounds total? So it weighs two pounds. Let's go over this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. That's 53 pounds. So it has to be like one pound each. So it's 53. That would be 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Yeah, that would be more like it. I don't know. One pound times 100, unless it's like 50 pounds or 50 and a thing. But I can get rid of a few things. What are these? <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is. What is this? Okay, I read the scout book. And I learned a lot about wilderness survival. What if it's permanent? So I still don't have enough. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? I want to barter. I need to get rid of some stuff. Like, do I need flares? I guess if I go into a dark cave, I could use them. Do I need water flask? Do I really need BBs? Wait, I don't have anything that for BBs. I don't know. What I need to do is find some place I can stash all my stuff. Okay, let's uh let's get out of here. Ninety three pounds. Yeah.
picking the light frame or small frame hurt me, but maybe if I don't use some of this, I could get rid of it. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop right here, look up and see about weight and all, and uh, see if I can find a place to put my stuff. Then I'll head to the guard shack and figure out from there. So uh, thank you for watching and watch the next video for see if I kill Gizmo or not.